I. Wave. You. I. Thank you. So my speech is on the dangers of procrastination. So have you ever gotten uh, an assignment, said yes. you'd do it, waited weeks, and then just never did it? And yes. Did it, like two days before? Yes. All right. Well, I'm a college student, right? And I do the exact same thing all the time. And you might be suffering from procrastination. So according to a study done by the University of Calgary, 95% uh, of students procrastinated and around 50% procrast procrastinated to the point where it was problematic. So it was affecting their grade a lot. You know what that means, right? Okay. So procrastination is difficult approaching or avoiding because a lot of the time what happens is it's not really laziness where you have trouble persuading yourself to do something or prioritize properly. And what happens is you put it off, but it's not intentionally or, or but it's actually habitually. So right here, this is the chart for a study done by WBS, which is Warwick Business School, where 81% of students gave in their homework in the last 24 hours knowing there was a uh, mark deduction policy where the, the later they gave it in, the more points they'd lose. And uh, this is a chart right there, right? A lot of them gave it in around 24 hours late with uh, deduction grades right there, right around a 64, which is not a very good grade. And uh, slowly less people start giving it in, but, but it spikes right around two hours, so it still shows that students are not being as reliable. They're still uh, waiting, uh, pushing their their, uh, their submission. And procrastination isn't really a character flaw, but it's a way of dealing with certain uh, moods or, or feelings that could be correlated with the assignment or activity you're doing. So sometimes it could be something more uh, subconsciously, maybe it's a class you don't like, or a professor you don't like, so you don't do the work. And um, your brain convinces you that whatever this assignment is and all the, uh, the baggage that comes with it doesn't belong to you, it belongs to someone else. And uh, it, despite the obvious consequences of procrastination, a lot of people still procrastinate. Um, so, Actually, students are losing a lot of points, as I showed you here, that could that could give them a C in a class and an A or a B. They, they, a, lot, a lot of students could have failed this class just because they gave it in a couple hours late and lost certain points. And one solution for this could be like planners. Would, this would help actually like giving descriptions of what you're doing, dates, um, little overviews, just so you know exactly what you're doing, what time. You're more organized, so it alleviates a lot of the worry and the fear, the uh, the not knowing what's happening, and that helps you or, and pushes you to actually do it because you feel better about the, the task. So procrastination, you, you can't let it take advantage of you because it not only does it hurt your brain, but it could hurt you. It, it can put you under a lot of stress, a lot of scary thoughts like, oh, I'm going to fail this, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to pass, I'm going to get a bad grade. So you, you can't let that get to you. And you, you, sh you should be better than that. You know how to deal with the problems. So, and if you could just get through this, you could actually become not only like better at class, you'd become a better person overall with other tasks outside of school. So, Procrastination is a big part of students' lives when it shouldn't be, and we should all fight this urge to, and choose to grow to become the better go-getters of tomorrow instead of the before tomorrow gets to you. So, are you ready to stop procrastinating? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Yes? You can do it. Yes? Let's go. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> So I actually forgot about one little detail that the uh, uh, college actually ran a study where they had 2,700 volunteers and 46% of them said that, that procrastination affected them quite a, quite a bit, while 80% said that it affected them extremely.
So that's that's bad. It's not good. So and this is the pie chart that came with it to explain it. These are the sources. 